Driscoll in his first three practices, how's he looked? You know what, he's looked really good. He's, he's worked hard to learn as much of the offense as he can without taking any reps. And in three practices, I, I've been really impressed with what he's done. And, and you know, with all the quarterbacks we've got in here, he's had a lot of reps. Uh, we've had three great days of practice with him and the rest of them. Today, honestly, all three of them have had, had moments where they, they looked really good. Is that, has that been the case all three days? You know what? It has all three days. And talking today with Coach Holtz about it, watching some film, it's about as deep as I've ever been in the spring at quarterback. And i got three guys right now that if I had to go in and play in a game, I feel pretty good about, good about going in. Now, Jeff's still going to go up and down a little bit on the offense. He's just his third day in it, but he's really picked it up fast. How many days does it take typically to get, to get completely ready and, and ready to – it doesn't look like he's in it three days. Uh, you know what? I mean, he's he's got a big jump ahead on where like Cody was last year because he gets to go through spring. I'd say he's going to need to get you know ten practices in probably to where he starts really feeling comfortable with some stuff. And where it's really going to pay off is the spring and then the summer and then when we start camp. Where we were with Cody last year coming in as a one-year guy, where Jeff's going to be because of the spring is going to be a big difference. Coach told me Friday that you know the job's not going to just be given to Jeff. He's going to have to earn it. How do you think he's responded to the fact that there is a little bit of competition between he and Ryan? Oh, I think Jeff's fine. He, he has no problem with the competition. Ryan has no problem with it. Ryan knows that he's the first string quarterback right now, and Jeff's the backup working to get the job. And the best player's going to get the job. My guys always know that. And if Price Wilson or the true freshman can win the job, they can have it. Whoever makes the ball go down the field the fastest and without turning it over. So it's going to be a great battle. I'm excited about it. It and, and Ryan and Jeff are handling it like they should. How much credit do you think goes to, to Ryan for, you know, he's kind of the last two years he's had to deal with transfers coming in and he's still hung in there. Um, seems like he's still competing out there. Obviously, like you said, he has the, the job, the first team job right now, but what's his overall, I guess, demeanor this, this spring? I think Ryan's been great. I give the kid a lot of credit. He, he started a half the season my first year here and then turn around last year and lose the job. And, and it's kind of a life's lesson. You know what? He worked really hard and there was a guy that came in and was better than him and deserved the job. And Ryan took it like he should last year. He did a great job. He was always ready to play. And, and he's ready to battle right now and try and win that job. The offensive line has a lot of a lot of pieces coming back, but also filling a couple of spots. I know today was the first day they've been at pads, but how did you think they looked uh, out of the gates? Uh, you know what? To be honest with you, I, I thought they looked okay, but I didn't pay a lot of attention to it because I got a brand new quarterback, and then I got some young guys with Price Wilson. So, you know, in a practice now, I'm really locked in on those quarterbacks right now, and I got to take care of that. And then when we get in the film, we'll see how they did.